separates us? What is it that makes us different from each other? Let me tell you a secret. Life responds to deserve. Life responds to what you deserve. Life doesn't respond to what you want. Life doesn't respond to what you need. Life responds to what you deserve. And so if you want more, the only way to get it is to deserve more. How do you deserve more? You take action. You take right action. You take the action that's required of you, that you know is required of you, in order to get to where you want to be, in order to get what you want. Now the best thing is, you don't have to be great to get started. You can make up what you lack in talent right now with boost and effort and giving more and working harder and fighting further and giving more than everyone else. If you can stay consistent enough, if you can stay patient with your passion, if you can stay in the game for long enough, you will win. If you keep trying, you keep working on it day and night, you give it all you got, you will make it. Don't move from side to side with every distraction that comes up. Don't let it catch you. Don't let it take you away from your purpose. Stay on the road to success. Stay on the road to winning. Stay on the road that you need to stay on to get what you want. That's the only way. You stick through no matter what forever until you get the results that you want. You don't give up when you're halfway through. When you're halfway through and the plant is just about to break through the ground, do you give up? No! If you care about it, if you're passionate about it, if it is what you truly love to do, how long do you keep going before you give up? Now let me ask you a question. What do you deserve? What do you deserve? You don't even have to answer it. Anyone can answer it. You deserve exactly what you have right now. Whatever it is, whatever your situation is, whatever your circumstances are, that is exactly what you deserve. Not a little bit more, not a little bit less. What you have right now is exactly what you've earned. If it was easy, you wouldn't even appreciate it if you got the success. Look at the people that have what they want without even earning it. They're miserable. And you want to be miserable? In fact, you should welcome the challenge. You should welcome the struggle, the grind, the hustle every single day. If you really want that, the ultimate goal, the ultimate passion, your vision, making it real, welcome the struggle. Because that's when you really start to appreciate your goals. That's when you really start to appreciate what it is that you want to accomplish. But you have to fight your devils. You have to fight them off. You have to push them aside. You have to be willing to say, I'm not going to fall for the distractions because there's so much out there. And everything's pulling you here, there, and the other way in. And maybe your family is saying one thing, and maybe your friends are saying something else, and your colleagues, and maybe, maybe everyone else is okay with your excuse for not making it to the top. But you cannot be okay with your excuse for not making it to where you want to be in your life. Because you have to be willing to take responsibility for what it is that you want. And you have to be willing to do what it takes to get what you want. Because life doesn't care about your excuses. Life doesn't care about your reasons why you can't make it. And everybody else might care. And your family and your brother and your sister and your loved ones, they might, they might care about your excuses. They might say, yeah, that's a, there's a good reason, there's a good chance you won't make it. But you cannot care about it because life does not care about your excuse. Life cares about your results. And so should you if you want to reach the top. Achieving your goals is one thing. But achieving them against all odds is a whole nother world. Wake up. Most of us are not really living. Ask yourself the question, can you thoroughly recall and remember the last seven days of your life? Did you do anything worthwhile? Did you make anything significant happen? Did you stretch, grow? Were you uncomfortable in new situations? Did you gain something? Were you expanding yourself, your life, and your beingness, or were you holding yourself back? Because you're the only one who can tap your ultimate potential. You're the only person that can make your exact visions come to life. Your life is yours. No matter how much you've been conditioned to think or believe that you need to do this, that, and the other, that this is the right path, that this is what people are supposed to do, you're supposed to walk your path. The only thing that you're supposed to do is walk your own path. Your road to success, what your gut, what your heart is telling you. Because it was given to you and nobody else. 
But if you did nothing towards that in the last seven days, what's to say that you will in the next? And if you didn't change anything the past year, what's it gonna take for you to wake up and do it this month? You need to spark something within you. You need to start a huge flame so the whole world can see. Whatever it is that you have to offer, it's time to take matters into your own hands. It is your responsibility to bring out the best in you. And in order to do that, you gotta wake up. This is my time. You understand me? It don't matter what you tried to do, you couldn't destroy me. I'm still standing. I'm still strong. And I always will be. Whatever it is that you're lacking, whatever you say you're missing, whatever it is that you're trying to reach out for, create it within yourself. If you can only understand what I'm saying here, that's the first step of getting it into your life, of attracting it. From nothing to something, you've probably heard all the stories about all the greats and how they did it. But what about your story? What about your gift and contribution to the universe? What are you gonna do for yourself and the people around you? What effect are you leaving behind you? Another average and mediocre life? Or something to remember? You know what's fascinating about the human race? We tend to have big dreams and visions for ourselves. We tend to visualize this amazing future, that all the good things that could happen for us. But then we find ourselves in a position where we just can't seem to move forward, where we just feel stuck, like we're repeating the same thing over and over again, and we can't get out. Maybe we made a decision or a commitment to change, but for some reason, we just can't break through. Now, I need you to know right now that there's only one way that you're gonna get your breakthrough. There's only one way that you can take it to the next level. And it's not by sleeping a few extra hours, or by watching TV, or by messaging with your friends. It's about taking one big step up to life. But if not now, then when? You have got to make a decision to yourself to say that you really are ready to go for it. Only you can decide when your life goes to the next level. Only you can decide when you start actually living your dream and doing what you want to do. That's up to you. There is nobody else in the world that can do that for you. There is nobody that can take that decision from you. You have the power to change whatever it is that you want. But look at the amount of time that you wasted. The amount of time that has just gone by. The amount of time where you didn't go all in. It's time to go all in in your life right now, today. Otherwise, you'll have to come to terms with living average. Being a person that you don't want to be. Doing something that you don't want to do. Pretending like you're happy. Pretending like you're fulfilled. When you know, you know when you look yourself in the mirror what you're doing. You know exactly where this is headed. And you know that you need to change it. You know that you need to shift out of it. You know that it's up to you. This is the time right now, today, half the year has gone by. What did you do? What did you accomplish? If you don't start stepping up to life, life is gonna step on you. And you get full speed ahead. You said that's it. I'm done dilly-dallying around, dabbling, wasting my time. This is it. And I'm gonna stay with it and stay with it until I make it. It's my time to shine. It's my time to step up. It's my time to show what I'm made of. And this is your time. This is your moment. 
this is your opportunity of a lifetime in front of you right now. The only problem is if you can't see it. So see it. See it and take it. Because otherwise, it's forever lost. We have our dreams, our passion, for a reason. It is not by chance. Whatever vision you have for yourself, somehow you've been gifted with this inner voice, this spectacular talent and potential that's never ending. And most people never live up to that. Understand that what has been given to you has been given to you particularly, specifically, for a reason. You're a one of a kind. You're something special. Don't cheat yourself out of that by living an average life. Life is hard. Yeah, that's right. You're gonna experience some struggles, some pain, some hardships. But it's not about what happens to you. Because these things, whether you believe it or not, happen to everyone. But it's the way that you respond to these things that really makes you stand out. That's what makes a difference. You will never be able to control everyone and everything around you. You can't always choose what happens, but you can choose what you're going to do about it. That's fully and entirely up to you. Most people will make excuses, but if you want things to go your way, take full responsibility. Because that means you have the power to change it. It's up to you to make a difference. The power is in your hands. Now think about that for a second. That's all the power you need, the ability to impact and change anything. It's up to you. You have to switch out of that pity victim mentality and never look back. What gives your life meaning? What gives it purpose? What drives you? The voices in your head telling you that you are not good enough? that you can't make it happen, as well as maybe even the people around you saying those things, it has to stop, it has to end. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. You have to do better than that. You have to step up with some power. Make a statement to the universe. I am capable. I am powerful. I not only can, but I will make it happen. Only you can claim your own power. Nobody else can do that for you. You're designing your own future right now. You're crafting. You're creating right now. You're making your own experience. There are some abilities, some talents, some gifts you have that absolutely no one else can tap into except for you. I get asked all the time, who are you, Raphael? Sometimes it's the people who care about me and want to hear my story. Other times it's someone who feels threatened by what I say, they don't want to change or improve their life because they're scared and so they're trying to discredit my message. I want you to hear one thing from me. It doesn't matter who I am. The reason I don't talk about my story in every speech like a lot of other speakers do, the reason I don't constantly push on you why I'm qualified to share this with you is because I'm not trying to get you to think that I'm perfect or that I deserve this and that. I'm not after your sympathy. I don't need you to hear about every tough thing and little thing that I've overcome. I want you to actually feel what I'm saying. The only reason I do this is because I want you to live your dream. Why? Because I got to live mine every single day I wake up and I do what I love. Listen to what I'm saying here. This isn't about me, it's about you. And if you listen to my speeches, if you love my work and it helps you do what you're supposed to do, well then it's mission accomplished. I want to bring you value. I want to impact your life for the better. I want you to listen and feel shivers running down your spine. Do you hear me? My why is about you. My why is not about me. And the moment that you decide that you are going to bring real value to someone else, when you decide that this is about more than yourself, something happens. What happens is, 
you explode. You can now live your dream because you're helping other people in one way or another. So long as you are self-centered, so long as you are stuck worrying about your little problems, you will never be able to create a breakthrough. Who are you letting down if you don't show up? It could be 10 million people for all you know. I never thought that I would reach this many people. let you all down because I was focusing on my own little tiny problems. Well, you have to level up your problems to level up your life. Problems never go away, they just become higher quality as you improve. And I decided to take responsibility for more than myself. And what I hope is that when you hear this, you will take responsibility for someone else other than yourself as well. Average people, they just cope through life as if it's something to get through. This is depressing, as if death is a goal. Your clock is ticking. You don't have time to get through it. My depression propelled me to greatness. Listen to this passion. This doesn't come through sitting there and being happy and okay with everything. Yes, you have to accept that things are the way that they are. But I need you to use your pain, not be used by it. How do you not understand? This was given to you. Given to you for a reason. So you can grow. So you can expand. How does a muscle get built in the gym? With resistance. You need some resistance to bring out the best in you. You need some pain, some struggle, some hardship. Life was not given to you so that you could cope through it. It was given to you to thrive. We need your obsession, your all in. Not this I'll try my best bullshit. As if it's out of your hands, it is not out of your hands. Stop lying to yourself and justifying why you can stay where you are, why it's okay for you to be where you don't want to be. And stop telling yourself that you're doing the best that you can when you know that you haven't even begun to tap half of your potential. Before you've even seen what you're capable of, you're already starting to think about quitting and giving up on yourself. What is this to you? You're going to die. How can you not understand this? It doesn't last forever. For all we know, it could happen tomorrow. I challenge you to live with this in mind and see how you will do things differently. You won't cope, you'll thrive. You'll stop holding yourself back and always limiting your opportunities. I heard some people saying, isn't that extreme? Isn't it extreme to be obsessed, to go all in, to do everything you're supposed to do? You should have a plan B. Life is extreme. Sometimes you lose people. Sometimes tragedy hits you. Life is going to continue to be extreme, so get extreme with it. Don't wait for an extreme moment to wake you up. Because that's what happens if you don't wake up, if you don't start doing what you're supposed to do. Eventually, life will hit you with something extreme just so that you'll wake up. Listen, you're not going to get out of your life alive, so play all in. Stop saving yourself for round two. There is no round two. This is the round. This is the time. This is your opportunity to show what you're made of. Today is your day. And now is the moment. Whatever you need to do, do it with your whole heart. Do it with everything. Every little piece of you invested. All of your energy. No holding back. What would your life look like if you went all in and everything that you did? From the moment you woke up until you passed out on the bed at night. If you were so intense that nobody could keep up, you have that in you. You have that power within you. You just have to let it out. 
Yes, some people will call you extreme when you bring out the best of you, when you give everything that you have in every situation, when you stop doping and walking around like a brain dead zombie, of course you're gonna turn some heads. If you're not drawing attention to you, that is the problem. You need attention. You need people to notice you. You want the world to know that you are here. Don't live in the shadows, not even leaving a fingerprint, not even leaving a mark. The only way to actually make a dent, the only way to actually impact people is to be extreme, is to go all in, is to do everything that you can possibly do. Only then can you realize your potential. Only then can you live the life that you truly know you're capable of, that you truly want to live. And nothing less than being extreme will be enough if you want to stop coping through life and begin to thrive.